All right, here we're going to do uh, look at some examples related to the limit comparison test. So in part A here, we have the series from 1 to infinity, 5 over 2n squared plus 3. Um, when I decide what, what series to compare this to, again, I just kind of keep... Uh, I keep, again, you know, what I call dominant terms. So in the numerator, you know, kind of the only term that is there is the 5. Um, and when it's a constant, it doesn't even matter whether you keep the constant or not. Um, in the denominator, as n gets large, well, again, you know, 3 is a constant. The, the 2n squared is going to be the, the dominant term. That's what's going to get the largest, the fastest. Um, so I'm going to compare, um, whoops, I'm going to compare... Um, our, our series, 5 over 2n squared plus 3, I'm going to compare that to the series 5 over 2n squared. And this series, again, we can factor just the 5 over 2 out front. And then we would be left with 1 over n squared. And again, uh, 1 over n squared is a convergent p-series. So again, that simply means it has some finite value. Well, if you multiply it by 5 over 2, it's still going to be finite. So this is a convergent series. So if we do our limit comparison uh, test, we'll do the limit as n goes to infinity. So I'm going to take our original series, 5 over 2n squared plus 3. And I'm going to divide that by this new series. Uh, I'm going to divide that by this series that I'm comparing it to, 5 over 2n squared. Well, that's going to give us the limit as n goes to infinity. We've got 5 over 2n squared plus 3. If we, uh, you know, flip and multiply, we'll have 2n squared over 5. But what we're doing here is we're forcing, you know, the degree of the numerator to equal the degree of the denominator. So um, let's write this one all the way out. We've got 10n squared. Usually at this point, I just kind of stop. Um, we would have, uh, again, a 10n squared plus 15. Well, as n goes to infinity, since the degree of the numerator equals the degree of the denominator, that limit is simply going to equal the ratio of the leading coefficients. So the uh, limit's going to equal 10 over 10, or in this case, 1. And recall the, uh, the uh, limit comparison test simply says that if you have a positive finite number, both series do the same thing. So in this case, it would mean that our original series must also converge. So this series also converges, again, just because we're comparing it to a series that converges.